Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight, Monday night. I think it is the 5th of February, I do believe. So you'll have to excuse mucky paws, but I've been playing with sugar paste and colouring and um, it may well have been a good idea to uh, wear some gloves, but I didn't, so I got mucky paws. So I'm just checking that way we are live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna wait for John to shout out some shout outs and see who's with us tonight. And tell you what we're doing. <laughs> so, John, are we ready? Maria's helping him. So, in the kitchen tonight, so everybody the audience knows, is it's growing. just John and Maria. Okay. So, John is looking after the camera, is going to do shout outs and answer some questions. And Maria, as you know, um, runs around the kitchen, sort of trying to get in as close as she can to um, take some little snapshots ready for to, to do some little uh, videos, I can't get my words out, so, to do some little one minute videos later on in the week. So what we're going to do today is, I'll just tell you what we're going to do while the audience is growing, okay. Um, I wanted to do um, an underwater theme with some of my nozzles, okay, some of the nifty nozzles. And I thought what best to incorporate it when I saw that Katie Seward brought out her new um, I don't know what range she calls it, but should we call it Sea World range, mermaid range, whatever. So, um, so I asked her, would she very kindly let me have some moulds uh, to do a demo on. Now, being one who's never ever used sugar paste moulds, um, uh, I've gone in green. <laughs> so you know what it's like, I wing it on the night and uh, hence the dirty paws. So we're, I'm not going to do all the moulds tonight because I'm not fabulous at all of them, but I will tell you which ones are my favourites and that I found very easy to do. So before we do that, I'm just going to get John to shout out some shout outs. Right, okay, we've got a good audience. We've got 105 people who joined us already. Um, so we've got uh, Samantha Goodman, Doreen Griffin, Sherilyn Degg, Maureen Ryler, Mabashra Ather, Kathy Dance, Julie Crompton, Rhea Kessel, Martin Dursley, Jackie Richards, Deep Singh Bawa, ah, hello Deep. Karen Jean Smith, Iris Shuttleworth, Lynn Spruels, Karen Naylor, Jenny Watson, Jade Rainey, Lisa Duncan, Robert Allen, Stacey Sedgwick, <laughs> lots and lots of people with Lindsay McIver and Talia. Oh, it's Talia Cat, Cat, Cat Riley, <laughs> Riley, Jane Temple. It's Cat Riley. So apologies, right, so apologies if we miss if, if I've missed somebody because there's a lot <laughs> a lot of names to shout out. But thank you all for joining us. Right, so lots of regulars there. Hello, Talia, and hello, Jessica, Cat's daughter as well. And I just need to say a big shout out as well to Timothy Dur Durrett. Durrett, can I say it? Durrett. Yes, um, another baker off Instagram. He follows us all the time. Now he doesn't watch the Facebook live because he's not actually on Facebook, but he does watch it tomorrow on YouTube. And Maria always puts a link on Instagram and uh, he follows us there. So just another baker is a very nice young man who follows us. Well, the, audience so, is, the audience is now up to 138. And if anybody's watching from overseas, then let us know where you are. We've got Rhonda from Mississippi in the US. Hi Rhonda, what time is it in the US? It's behind, is it behind? Are they behind? They're behind, it's, aren't it's they? It's two o'clock in the in afternoon. Mississippi. Right, okay. Good, all right then. So I've got a cloth here to keep wiping my hands with. So as you know, with the, with me in the kitchen, um, I'm not a professional baker. I'm not a professional sugar crafter or anything else like that. I am going to be working on a dummy cake today. Um, if I make any more sponges, I think I might just lose my mind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buttercream and we're going to, we're gonna buttercream the sponge and we're gonna do a sea theme. I've never done it before. I put some colours together and basically we're going to slap it all together, we're going to go for that rustic look and let's see what we get at the end of it. But first of all, let's talk about these moulds, okay? And we'll go through them and I have used them, they're all fresh. I don't know the prices, anybody wants to shout up, but uh, Maria has put the link to the Katie Sue moulds and the colour splash colours that we're using and everything we're using tonight she has put links on. So one of the favourite ones that I've used tonight is the Driftwood one and it's called uh, Driftwood and Love Stones. That's what it's called, Dream Driftwood and Love Stones. Now I found this one really very, very easy. Um, we're also, I have a quick go at doing the um, Beach Hut, which I found very easy as well. I enjoyed doing that one. 
the mermaid's tail. So we'll have a go at this one, show you how to do it. And this, I love this. This was the seashells and I was actually really surprised how they came out. They're great. I just thought they were going to be, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting anything that great if I'm really honest. But I have to say I'm really impressed. So we'll get those done. Um, this one is called Sea Swirls. Sea Swirls Border. I'm not going to use this today so I'm not going to show you how to use it. Um, this is more like... Um, if you're going to do your design up your cake with sugar paste or a crush your cupcakes but as i'm using all buttercream it won't fit in with what i'm going to do um, we've got some corals and fish here so we might do a couple of little fishes i'll show you what we've done and the seahorses are here so if you're into your seahorses that's great and we've got the mermaid so the one that i didn't want to do we might have to do because I've had done two attempts today and I've broken both of them. So I've been heartbroken. <laughs> so I'll have to see how my nerves feel about it because to actually do it live might just take me over the edge. So is there any questions, John? Does anybody want to ask anything? No, a lot of people just saying hello at the moment. Um, lots of uh, regulars and new faces. Um, we've got Kate Ainsworth said she met you yesterday at Patchwork. Ah! Right, hello. Dem demo day. Yes, it was lovely yesterday. Yesterday I went to, um, you remember Marion Frost who came along with the patchwork cutters? Um, well, she did a demo day on uh, Saturday and Sunday and I went along yesterday with Wendy Preston and it was really lovely to meet all the ladies there and I actually didn't think anybody would know me and it was amazing how many people, oh, hi Carol, I watch your Facebook live. So to all you lovely ladies who were really friendly to me yesterday, I am truly grateful and uh, a lot of them said they don't actually say anything, they just watch from afar, but we do have lots of people who don't actually comment. So feel free to say hi. So I met lots of lovely ladies there yesterday over lunch. Anything else, John? Um, no, no, uh, no, no comment, no questions at the moment. Okay, so some of the sugar paste, I'm using the sugar paste direct, okay, and some of it's got Tylo in and some hasn't got Tylo. Now, I am not the professional, I can't tell you about Tylo and what you can use and what you can't use, but I had an idea of what colour mould, what, what colour shells I wanted to use, what colours I wanted for the shells and what colours I wanted for the stones. So we'll just quickly do a few, just so I can show you how easy they are. Um, so we'll use our corn flour pouch, okay? This is the sugar and crumbs corn flour pouch. It's on the website, so we'll take it off the piece of card, okay, because that doesn't really help. Um, take it off the piece of card, give it a good dab with corn flour, and then tap it all out, okay? Look, it even leaves the dream. You just work on the midpoint of the mat, please. Midpoint of the mat? There you go. John's giving me instructions. Well done, John. So we're going to... So... Um, and what I'll try and do is I'll try and do it this way, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do a couple of these. These were really easy and I really enjoyed doing these. So I'm just going to put a little ball in. Is sugar paste the same as fondant? Uh, I think it is, yeah, it is. See, the thing is, in my day, fondant used to be that glaze that you put on top of uh, cake. So when you had added water to it, okay? And, and that was fondant. But the Americans, which I presume this is the lady from America. Uh, I'm not sure, I think we've got a few people from America, but I'm not yeah. sure it's Samantha Goodman. Right, okay, well, I don't know where. So the Americans call sugar paste fondant. So um, it's up to you. And like we call it buttercream and the Americans call it frosting. And then somebody says, no, if it's got a different um, consistency in, you would call it frosting if it's got I don't know, whatever is in it. As I told you all before, guys, I'm not actually the perfect professional, so I can't tell you all those things. So why do you come and watch Sugar and Crumbs, okay? You come and watch because I'm hoping that you are somebody who sat at home, would like to have a go at a little bit of cake decorating, not, not sell cakes for a living. This is like make a cake for your daughter or go the extra mile and make one for your mum for Mother's Day, you know, and uh, you're feeling a bit nervous and don't know what to do. Well, you know what, join me because I don't know what I'm doing half the time either. So any of you professionals out there, close your eyes now. I say that every week. Uh, close your eyes now. Um, as I say, I'm not always doing it the right way. The cakes in the kitchen here are just in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. And the only people who eat them is me and Maria. <laughs> the lads in the warehouse, 
John never does eat them. And, um, and anybody who knows me who fancies cake, I don't sell them. So if you see that I touch my hair or my face, don't worry. Anybody I know personally who eats my cakes are not bothered at all. And as I say, they're not for resale. So I don't like doing everything nice and neat. Uh, I don't know which camera you want, John. You on this one? Or you on that one? This one. So I don't like doing everything nice and neat. I like to throw things together. I have my favourite word and it's called rustic. Couldn't find anything happier than that word. I don't know who thought of it, but it's the best word going. So, so what we've done is, now this, this um, sugar paste direct here hasn't got any um, Tylo in at all, because I didn't think it needed to for this big ones. So just watch how easy these fall out. Now these are a bit thinner. And we're just going to peel this one off as well. There we go. And they're called word stones because they've got words on them. So you've got live, love and laugh, and you've got dream, and then you've got a piece of driftwood. So I'm just gonna get some kitchen roll there because obviously I want this to dry pretty soon. So I'm gonna put those on there just so they can help dry out. I've already made some earlier as well. So that one is the word stones. Okay, so that's that mould there, brand new from Katie Sue. So let's put, put that up out of the way. Yeah. And there we go, can you see those? Now, as I say, I've not put any Tylo in these. Got them, John? Yeah, super. So I'm gonna put those over there, help dry. And then the other one that I found was a pleasure to use was the seashells now is it just called seashells yes it is how simple is that so just seashells and i love this mold and uh, again just give it a nice dusting a bit more in there really do, you know, do you know how much they are Pardon? do you know how much they are I don't, I need our audience. Now, for you newbies who don't watch us, we have a really good audience, okay? And the audience who are with us all the time, the community, as I call them, are really good at shouting out the prices because when I go live, I actually forget everything. I actually forget everything, Kenny. I'm at that stage in my life. I turned 56 this month and I swear to God, I've got no marbles left. I completely forget everything. And uh, so they all help me out and tell me how much it is. So as I say, we have put the link. So I'm just rolling this one a little bit long, just to stick in there. Now, I haven't filled it all up, but don't panic, because you can always push more in. So we're just gonna push some more in. So you don't need to worry. I know some of you are really professional. You weigh your sugar paste, and uh, so that you know how much it all is. But as I say, I am not a sugar fan, uh, a sugar, what do you call it, sugar paste person. I don't know what type of person I am really, but uh, I'm not really a sugar paste person, so we're just gonna chuck it in here. I'm gonna put this one in, this just shows you how easy these molds are. <coughs> so all you're doing is just pushing them in. I'll just put a little bit more in that one. And um, I pre-coloured these using the Colour Splash gels. So uh, Wendy Preston came down on Saturday because she was coming to, with me to the Patchwork Cutters session yesterday and she wanted a little fresher on the dome, a little refresher on the dome cake. I don't know whether you saw that post I did last night. And um, so while she was doing that, I didn't help her with it. I just talked her through it, anything she wanted answering. And then uh, Karen Naylor joined us as well. She popped in for a quick cup of coffee. So it was a right little uh, class reunion. Um, and those who, who know me, those ladies have been on my Nifty Nozzles class. And I always say to everybody, if you've been on my Nifty Nozzles class and you're local and you feel like just popping in, just find out whether I'm at home. And if I'm at home, I'm quite happy for you to bring all your goodies along and come and do a little demo or a little refresh in front of me completely free of charge i never really mind so uh 
So I sat there while Wendy did that on Saturday and Karen joined us for a coffee as well. So you'll see all I'm doing is, is just pushing these in. So I'm just molding my sugar paste. Not sure which camera I'm on here. Are we over there. So all I'm doing is just warming it up and then just pushing it all in. I love this mold. I really do love this one. I think it's lovely. So just warm up a little bit more. And because I'm actually really, really rolling it again, I can push it in on top. You don't really need to worry about, the, about glue or anything like that. Just push it in. And even these little tiny ones worked. I thought these might be a bit dodgy, but they're not. They're actually really good and quite effective. So, uh, like I say, I don't really know what sizes you put in. So it's Katie Sue's mum, I think it's a mum, Doreen, Dorian, Doreen, I'm not actually sure, I never get it right, anyhow she'll kill me. But she does all the little demos, so she might be there going, Carol, you're doing it wrong, so I apologise in advance. But what it is, I'm here tonight just to quickly show you guys how to put some of these things together. Really very, very easy, so let me just push this in. I can show you what they're like. So I'm doing all these the same colour. I might just have a little bit of orange to these. So a few people have very kindly put up the prices of the various moulds. Thank guess. you very much. <laughs> yeah, really appreciate that. But to be fair, if you want to know how much the moulds are, don't worry about them now. When this um, live finishes, and um, it goes to the top of the page, it's pinned to the top of the page. So all you've got to do is go right back to the post, okay, and then just go through and it says, it tells you what's happened tonight and it says read more. I think a lot of people don't realise that you can read more. Just press the read more and then that's where Maria's put all the additional links so that you can go through to the website and find out how to buy these. So it takes, takes a couple of minutes to do these. And like I say, I'm not going to do them all. I'll just do, if I'm going to do the, the mould, I'll try and do what I can on them. But I've already made some already. And then we'll get on with my theme, my idea. Now, anybody who knows me on a regular basis knows that I come in here on a Monday or a Thursday morning winging it. <laughs> That's exactly what we're having to do today. I would love to have a life where I would get a chance to practice. But have been the proud owner of Sugar and Crumbs. John and I work all hours God sends. I think we sleep, breathe and eat Sugar and Crumbs. We don't get any rest whatsoever. And um, with all the best intentions in the world, we do, I do, want to try and practice and have a go um, before I come live. But sometimes I just look at it, you know what, I'm not going to worry about it because you guys don't have a practice. You see what I do or what anybody else does and you just have to go for it, don't you? You know, and I've seen so many of you make what I make. And did you have a practice beforehand? No, you just saw it, you saw the video and you cracked on with it. So, and as I say, I'm not a professional. So this is what I like about this mould and pray to the Lord that they do come out really well. So I'm just going to make sure that all the, so there we go. So this was one of the hardest ones to get out is at this end. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop out all the easy ones first and they will just pop out. Don't really got those, Marie. Just going to pop those out and the re we'll pop them out because they're at the thinner end and some of them you might need to help. And I get my nails in everything as well. So I've got to help this one, this little chappy. Don't worry about him there. There's a little there. Right, so, and start bending these thicker ones over. Now look at the detail in that one. I love the detail in that one. And we'll just get this baby out here. So I'm just going to, there we go. Look at the detail in those. Can you see those? I just love them. Even these little ones have detail in as well. 
just how you pick them up off the beach when you're going along. So, look at that. Sorry, Maria. So Are you those? using Tylo paste? I'm not using any Tylo in these ones. I have put Tylo in some, but not these because I actually thought, you know what, they don't really need it. I find that you need Tylo paste really if you're going to make flowers or big models or um, or something really, really firm. And I have mucked up on me uh, mermaid's tails. I could have really done with some Tylo in those. But I didn't feel that for these, the way that I wanted to put them on the cake afterwards. So did you get those, Maria? So can you see the detail in the camera there? Mm -hmm. So can you see the detail there, looking at? So sorry for my dirty hands, go all the way around. I like those. And those, that little one. Look at that. So you could paint these up how you want. So I'm just going to put those on there as well to dry. If I put them, if I put them on the tissue paper, it'll help them dry a bit quicker. Okay, so that's that one. So that one there is the seashells mould. Yeah, which camera on, John? We're back on here, this one? Yeah, so that's the seashells mould. I really like that one. And then, I love this one, the beach hut. I really do love this one. This is so simple to do. So what we'll do is we'll do a nice blue door and we will pop him in. Am I in view there, John? Mm -hmm. So just let me put these back in the bag again. One second. Now, I did have a bit of trouble with these little fellas Okay, so this is the spike, and this is the bucket and spade, and the round, uh, the round uh, lifeboat, the, uh, what do you call it? Life ring. What's the rubber ring that you get? What's it called, a boy? What's it called? It's not called boy, what is it? Help me out, Life guys. ring. Life ring. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been Definitely. saved out of the sea. I'm almost sure if I was drowning in the sea, they'd leave me to drown. <laughs> and they throw you a ring, that's what it is, anyhow. So anyhow, so again, I'm not putting tie low in this one either. So all we're gonna do is roll that up into a sausage there. So some of you guys are gonna be going mad, going, why is she not putting tie low in it? But I just don't feel that we need it really. And to be fair, when you see the ones that I made earlier, they've, dr they've dried actually really hard. And I actually wanted them to dry soft. And I only made them a couple of hours ago and they've already dried hard. So all I'm doing here with this one is Life belt. See. Life belt. Life belt. Is that what it's called? It is according to Jane Dursley. All right, Jane. Well done. So you can, if you want to, flatten it. And like can you that. use these for chocolate or cookies? Uh, you can. Okay, but yeah. you mustn't ever bake in the silicone molds. So all the silicone molds, the uh, Katie Sue, Karen Davies, all the proper ones, not your Chinese copies, rubbish. Okay, you can actually you and for clay modelling as well. Because uh, we do have a lady who buys off sugar and crumbs all the time, buys the moulds off us, and she uses them for all her craft, her clay craft stuff that she does for cards and things. So this one here, now you saw me roll over it there. You don't need to roll over it. I just thought it might look a bit dodgy while you guys are looking at it. So all you're going to do, look how easy that came out. It just came out so easy. It's a lovely Another question, one. what is Tyler? Um, Tylo is, they are, somebody on my community may be able to give the professional answer. Okay, it's to firm up your sugar paste. So, um, it's to firm up your sugar paste so that it goes hard, okay, and therefore you can use it to stand. But uh, I wanted to stick this to the side of the cake, so I wanted it soft so that I could mould it. But like I say, um, today I've been making these. I got home, what time did we leave the office, Laura? You were here at half twelve. Maria. We got here at half past twelve. And uh, I'm calling you Laura, Maria. Um, that's because I work with uh, I work with Maria here and Laura down at the warehouse. And uh, Maria was with me today there. So I get myself all confused. So this is the little bucket and spade. So we sell these little sets as well. This comes in a, it's a handy tool set. It's the cake star range. There's uh, 10 pieces in it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm missing three pieces. There's a smoother and something else. But these are quite handy, just so that you can shape round, okay? So this one, we're gonna use this one. 
and I'm just going to pull that out ever so gentle there and stick him on. Sorry, I didn't show me, did I? Would have been a good idea if I showed you. This is the bucket and spade. Sorry, Maria. So I didn't find that one too bad to do. And then the life belt, just do this in a little circle here. So any of you guys who are really good at uh, modeling or using silicone molds, if I'm doing anything wrong, I do apologize. But really all I wanted to do was I wanted to do, do a sea theme and uh, I thought the Katie Sue molds would be great for the idea I've got in my mind. So all I've done there is use this little tool because I know that this is meant to be a ring. So I'm just scraping around there, just pushing it back. Can you just work where the bucket and spade is? But work where the bucket and spade is, yeah. that's fine. You'll have to keep an eye on this, John, so I know. Yeah. So let's move the bucket and spade out. It was really funny yesterday, we went to the demo and there was a lovely lady there called Evelyn Freshwater. She made us laugh. I, in fact, I couldn't stop laughing at her. But she was that giddy that sometimes she was in the camera and sometimes she wasn't in the camera. And we had to keep saying, can you just show us the camera? Because she'd be waving around her flowers and then she had them in her mouth and all sorts of things. She was hilarious, but we didn't see much on the uh, screen. So, oh, sorry, that was my life, but I'll go back to that in a moment. You'll see that there. Sorry. Now your life belt should be white with red, but we've done a coloured one. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to do, um, put this one back in here. So this one is the beach hut. I haven't done the pointy bit. I struggled with that, if I'm really honest. The pointy bit is the little peak that goes on the top of here. Okay, and I haven't done it. I did it for all the others and I really, really struggled with it. So for you guys who know what you're doing, I'll let you get on with that one. So that's the beach hut one, yeah? And uh, all of you last week when John mucked up on his emails, thank you for being such an honest community. All of you emailing me back because he was selling me this for £1.50. I think it's 9 98 isn't it, John? <laughs> So, I know yes, some of you were truly like devastated. And then we've got the mermaid tail as well. Now, I like this one. This one's really easy as well. So, I found this one a pleasure to do. So, again, we'll pop some dusting in there. We'll tap it out. And then, what kind of mermaid tail, tail should we have? We'll have a, a lime green one, I think. Mermaid tail. I'm just going to mould my sugar paste, we'll do a nice lime green one. Now I did muck up and this is where I could have done with some Tylo and I'll show you in a minute what I've done on the ones that I made earlier. But uh, it's too late now, we're going to have to go with this. So we're just going to put a little tube in there. Am I in the camera there, John? You are, yes. Yeah. So we're just going to stretch that down Stretch that down and we're going to go both ways. So I'm just going to take that off there. I'm going to go down here and just got to keep pushing it down. And then keep rubbing back and keep pushing down. So Kim said if you're struggling with the pointy bit, freeze it before trying to remove it and then leave it to come to room temperature before touching it. Oh, well done. There you go. Well, we won't have time today. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this knife here from the tool set just to sh shape it up a minute. Oh, Jacqueline Heaton's joined. She said she's doing a mermaid cake for her daughter's 30th. Ooh. <laughs> Don't rely on mine, Jackie. <laughs> I've no idea what mine's going to look like. I've got it in my mind what it looks like. What do you guys think? Do you ever think about what you're going to do for a cake? You might think about it all night and then and then you're devastated when it doesn't look nothing like it. Well, let's hope mine has some idea of looking like it. So I have got a little bit of a dirty mark of some of uh, the other sugar paste in this as well, but nobody's gonna see that. Okay. And this one comes out fairly easy as well. So um, was it Jane Dursley who said, put it in the freezer? Was uh, it? No, it um, wasn't. I think it was Kim. Sorry, the comments oh, Kim, of- yes. 
Yep, Kim Barris. Yeah, so pop it in the freezer, she said, but we're just going to pop it out now. Yeah, well, a few people have said about putting it in the freezer. See, there you go. Even for a few minutes, it'd be easier to get it out. Would it? Mm-hmm. Well, we're just going to go with it. I am just going to go with it. Just going to help it there. Going to help it there. And I've just broke his tail off. Not broke one little fin off until now I'm live with you guys. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make the little fin there. Let's pop it on there. So when they said that if you use luster on the fin, it gives a beautiful effect when you paint over it. Yeah. In Jackie's case, going to be a chocolate one. Good. She's good at doing chocolate cakes. Well, there you are. I think I fixed that pretty well, haven't I? Yeah? What do you think? Think I fixed that okay? What's your favourite fondant? My favourite fondant, I don't particularly have a favourite, if I'm really honest. I am i don't really have a, a favourite at all. Um, if you're going to talk about taste, then it's got to be Karen Davies fondant all day long. And I've used hers in the mould and it's absolutely amazing. I just love it. And that has already got some tylo in it as well, so that'll help you. So there you go. So we've done the tail, we've done some stones, driftwood, we've got our little shed, and here's our mermaid's tail. Yeah. And I don't actually know how much the mermaid's tail was. I don't know, somebody will come up with it and tell us. Now these, this one here, this one, I'm not going to do all these and I will tell you why. I think you just have to have a little bit more experience about doing moulds for this one. Okay, now that's nothing to do with Karen, uh, Katie Sue's moulds, that's to do with me. Okay, so if you are, are good at doing the silicone moulds, then you'll be able to do this. But I, I, it's the first time I actually had a go of this this afternoon and I struggled on the thinner bit. So I struggled on the coral and this little effect. And as it happens, I don't really need this because this is what I want to use the nifty nozzles for. So when I um, saw a little video of um, Sue's mum using this mould, let me just put that orange there, sorry, uh, using this mould, I noticed that she put in a line of black. Well, I'm all fingers and thumbs. I can't do that line of black with some sugar paste. She put in a little line of black sugar paste there and there and there and there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to paint ours on. So I'm not going to bore you too much doing these. But these were, I found the fish really easy to do. Okay, so I like the fish. Uh, but I enjoy doing them. Just push one in there. Just push that there. And just to thicken it out, because when you're going in the thin bits, sometimes you're best off going in the thin bit, narrowing it and taking it over the top of the body to give it that bit of extra strength as well. So you'll see what I mean here. So we're going to go in that thin bit there. And he's just slid out. So I'm just going to go on that thin bit, push a bit more, and then we're going to push some onto that body. Yeah. So the fish I did enjoy, I thought they were quite easy to do. And then we painted them after. Well, I painted them after. So I've ran home this afternoon with Maria from the office, and uh, we've had the photographer here, and I've had to come in. You want to see my other little kitchen? This is mine and John's home kitchen that we're in here. And we come in here all the time now because we've had big lighting put up in here so that it's brighter for you guys. But my little sugar and crumbs kitchen is actually next door. And uh, when I've done classes and things, people have ended up in there. So let's just take that out. So look, this one comes out really nice and easy. Watch it go out. It comes out nice and easy. There he is. You can see him on there. Yeah, and we'll give him a little paint afterwards. Yeah. So we'll pop him on the tissue as well. Sorry, Maria, did you want to see him a bit more? No, no. No, you're okay? 
So uh, sometimes for newbies, you will see that uh, Maria is in the camera. So I'm not going to do all the fish. Mind you, I'll do a little pink one, one of these little pink ones. They were good. I quite like them as well. But they're all the same. We'll do one of these little curly ones. Okay, there's been a couple of questions about what we, what do we, you put in the moulds? Corn flour icing? Well, you see, now, I've got to be honest, okay. And, the, and there's also a message, one, someone has mentioned that Terry said on the Christmas demo that you could also put tracks on some of Right, moulds. okay. So, I'm glad about that, and this is where I get myself confused as well, guys, okay. I, um, when I first started Sugar and Crumbs and I got myself a set of moulds, somebody told me to use icing sugar. So I always used icing sugar. And I've got to be honest, I've come across professionals that use icing sugar. And then I've come across other people that said use corn flour. So I've swapped to corn flour. Okay, which camera are we on? Are we on here? So I've swapped to corn flour. Okay, because I thought, you know, I've got to do what they all say. I'm using the wrong one. So I've gone to corn flour. And then um, people said use Trex. Well, I've never used Trex in the mold until today. And basically it was all over my hands I put it and rubbed it in this coral mold here and um, because I tried it with just um, I tried it with just corn flour in here dropped all the corn flour out and then put the coral in and it wouldn't come out it stuck so maybe that's the one I should have put in the freezer if I'm really honest then so those guys who just said put it in the freezer I had no idea about that but I'll probably put those in the freezer maybe in fact if we put some in now we could pop it in the freezer, couldn't we? And uh, Maria can pop some in. So let me get this little fish out and then we'll pop some in and see. But then I filled it up with treks and thought maybe that, oh, sorry, Maria. So there's that little one there. Have you got that one, John? So I've just- Pop forward a little bit. Okay. So I've just not quite pressed it all in the mold there. So I'm just using my little I think it's called a dresser and tool this one just to cut off the edges there you go i'll just cut that off just to shape them up properly and i think he's meant to be that way no no he's meant to be that way yeah okay so what we'll do then we'll see if i can do this because i tried I two goes at this today and uh, i really did struggle so, as I say, I don't use icing sugar anymore. I'm not saying it's the wrong thing, because I know lots of people do. But, um, and then I went and put Trex in, and I, I wasn't successful with either. So let's put this in. Uh, I also used it modeling paste as well, and I wasn't successful. So let's do this, and we'll pop it in the freezer as well. I'll just a bit more of this. We'll see. We'll have to. We'll have um, Katie Sue's mum on soon, telling us how to do it. I'm sure. So uh, I'm just going to shove this in here, and then we'll cut it down. So it's a bit of fiddling around. I tell you what, I did enjoy with this today. If I wasn't so stressed about doing a Facebook live today. And, and when I say stress, it's just I, I want to try and be on time and have something good to show you. Um, but uh, I would have probably really enjoyed doing this really nice and therapeutic. So if I'd managed to come in there and set my kitchen up and not have the photographer running around trying to take images of uh, all our stuff, then um, I would have probably really enjoyed the whole session. And by so the way, a sorry, there's a comment here from Flo to say thanks for the great instructions. I can now use my nozzles properly. Best cupcakes I've ever decorated today. She, and she said she has sent a photo. Oh, right. And who's that? Flo? Flo. Right, good. Well, I'll look forward to that. I've not actually been on the Sugar and Crumbs page today because I've been busy doing this. But I will have a look. So good. So many of you have said you've learned so much how to use your nifty nozzles and uh, as you know we only do the genuine russian piping tips so uh, alexander from russia is our partner and uh, my daughter laura has done lots of designs as well so if it's not a nifty nozzle unfortunately you've bought yourself a copy from china so sorry i'm just going to take this out and uh, just going to push a bit more in and then I'm going to leave this one. I don't feel brave enough to do the mermaid in front of you guys. 
I've got to have another go at that. So I've done a, I've done the mermaid and uh, I might have a go at the end of the session. So we'll just stick this in the freezer in a minute. So, so Julie said they use corn flowers to get any moisture out of the mold. Sugar pit, sugar, icing sugar gets damp. Icing sugar can get sticky. And Trex is for moulds which aren't very deep. Well, I did try Trex on this and I couldn't get it out. All I had was grease everywhere. So maybe too much, I'm not sure. So after this one, we're just going to stop and I'll show you what I've already made today. And then we'll get on putting our cake together. As you know, slapping it together. My favourite thing now. I love slapping a cake together. But uh, today we're slapping a dummy together because uh, we can't make cakes. My diet failed miserably this weekend. I'm going to have to start all over again. So, Marie, John, do you want to pop this in the... In fact, there, Marie, do you want to pop this in the fridge? So, that's what we've made so far. And then today, while I've been playing... So I made these today, don't know which camera on John. So I made these today and all I've done with this one is the fish's tail. So the fish's tail, the mermaid's tail, <coughs> that's it one side, okay? But this one I've put two together. So I've put them back to back, okay? And I've done the same with the green. I mucked up with the green paint on there, okay? And I've done a blue done some grey ones, whether I use them all or not. These are the um, stones, so you've got laugh, so there's the laughing beige, grey, love, live, there you go, in the two colours, did those, and then there's all the seashells that we've done there, that I've done today, and I really do like them, I love the detail in those, really well impressed with those guys, okay, and then, I get my next one. So as I say, they're not perfect, these guys. Remember, I'm actually showing you for you hobby bakers who are just like me, who are just giving it a go. So let me just pull this way out of the way here. So let me pull this out of the way here. This has got nothing to do with today's demo. Oh, let's get those out of the way. I was mucking about with something else with them. So get them out of the way. Okay. So I put them over there. So I've done the beach huts. Are we on there, John? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I did the beach huts and just gave them a bit of a painting over. And then I broke one. Look at that. And you know when I said to you before, I didn't put any Tylo in them. So this is the Sugar Paste Direct. So these have been out set for a couple of hours. And the reason I didn't put Tylo in is that because my cake's round, I wanted to sort of be able to bend it round my round cake. Doreen is watching. Is she? Don't say nothing. <laughs> so Katie Sue's mum's watching. She isn't actually called Katie Sue. I think it's two daughters. One's Katie and one's Sue. Yes. Are they already telling you? Yeah, but their company name is Katie Sue and it's Sue that I know and I know her mum as well. I've never had the pleasure of meeting Doreen. So um, you'll see here what I've done is painted these put the little life belt on, put the bucket and spade on there, but I broke that one, but we're still going to use it anyhow. The seahorses, I did the seahorses, all I did is put an eye on. I had difficulty, I lost a tail on one of them, maybe I should have put it in the fridge. Lost the tail on that one as well, and there's the baby. And then I did some little fishes, two-toned my um, sugar paste there, two-toned it here and here, just find that easier. A little black paint for the eye. And I painted on the stripes here. So, um, Dorian, is it Dorian, John? Doreen. Do no, I know it's spelled Dorian, but it isn't saying, it doesn't say it like that. Does she Dorian. know? She says it's something that says it. Doreen, Doreen. Anyhow, I always say Doreen, she always corrects me. So, um, she actually puts in a proper line of um, sugar paste, black sugar paste in there, makes a really nice, neat job. So for you guys who are like, who are like really OCD and want to do it completely right, then you need to watch their videos. But this is us just throwing them together, okay? 
and uh, hopefully achieving a nice effect when we're finished. So I'll pop those over there. And then those are what we've got here. So let's get those out of the way. In fact, we'll pop those on top of there as well. And then the mermaid, as I say, the mermaid is beautiful. Loads and loads of detail, but I don't think this is one that I could just wing on the night. Okay, oh, there's the seahorse mold as well, by the way. So we had a go at that one, and that's lovely. I just showed you those. The mermaid is stunning. When you make this, it's absolutely stunning, but I'm not brave enough to do it in front of you guys. I've done two today, and one I broke in half at the tail. I broke his tail off. And the next one, I just couldn't get the hair right. So I feel as though, uh, no, I did get the hair right, sorry. And then I picked up the black paint and went and painted the hair black by mistake. I forgot to wash my brush and it was meant to have a nice red color. That was it, that's what I did. So uh, I'll have to, I might have a go at that later. So let's get our cake together. Let's get all our mess, up, mess out of the way. So here's my dummy cake, what we're doing. And to get our theme together, uh, that might be a bit too high, Maria, so I don't think I'll do, I'll do that. Do you want to pass me the blue? So I've already made some um, buttercream. So I put this on a blue board because I'm lazy in colouring a board. So it's a shocker. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to rough this. Okay, so can I have both blue ones, please, Maria? Thank you. So I've just pre-coloured some buttercream. I'm not sure whether what, whether I'm in there, John. Am I in? Yes. So am I best off in this camera or this camera? This one, probably. This one. Okay. Oh, so I can have the board then. So I've just done this in this lovely jade colour. Okay. It's really nice and vibrant. The colour splash range. Okay. So I'm just going to rough do this. So this is our cake, and all we're going to do, we're going to rough it. Can I have that um, stand there then, please? Now. So now I know you're on this camera, I can do it on this stand. That makes it a bit higher. So this is just normal buttercream. It is our flavoured buttercream, um, which I'm wasting on a dummy here, but we do love the kitchen smelling nicely. So we're going for the nice rustic look. Okay. And what I have done is I have put some buttercream on the bottom to... Um, secure it to the drum and I have put a wooden dowel right through the middle to secure all the um, stereo foams together. Now normally if this was real cake you would do one tier at a time but for speed we're just going to go for this nice rustic look and slap it on. Because as I said guys I'm not a professional cake decorator all it is is I just want you guys to give it a go and maybe make your granddaughter happy that you've done her mermaid cake or your little girl and don't feel conscious that you can't do it because you can and I think every little girl is going to be happy with this once we've done it providing my uh, idea comes out okay so if we just imagine this is the coat cake. So if this was real cake now, you should crumb coat it first, pop it in the fridge, let the first coat set, and then come out and coat it again. But there we go. So I know you guys probably can, because I don't know which camera John's on, which one I'm on, because I'm here, they can't actually see what I'm doing. So maybe should we have this camera on? So what do you think of our new system? John's really pleased. He doesn't break his back anymore now. So we're just rough coating it. And the good thing is, with it being a C effect, it can be rough coated. So you know what I'm like. I love my rustic look. So, uh, and, uh, and like I say, being the C effect, you can uh, go rustic. We're just going to do this. I'm going to have to go around a couple of times. Are we on this camera? Just so that nobody's looking at my armpit. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to do that.
So have any of you made any of those cakes I've been making, those Victoria sponges? I've seen quite a lot of you have been making them, which I'm really pleased with. And a lot of you have lowered your temp temperature. And quite a lot of you have added water, as I've told you to, and been telling me how lovely and moist they are. I've had some really nice emails of people who are saying I would never have added water. And um, I, don't, I didn't like chocolate cake before because I always thought it was dry. And they've added water and can't believe how moist they are. So uh, thank you for those emails, guys. It's lovely to get the feedback off of you guys. I know I'm not going to win you all over, but uh, it is nice to know that being here on a Monday, showing you the uh, rustic way of doing things is getting the message across. So as I say, anybody who is watching, if you are a professional. I can't wait, you should have put a non-slip mat under the book. Yes, I know, and I do have a non-slip mat, but I've left it in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. So uh, anybody who watches me normally will see that I normally do have one. And uh, in fact, Maria, do you want to go and run and see if you can find it? I think it's on the um, table where Simon was taking photographs. I think, the, you know the white stand? Yes. Uh, the white stand, it's got a mirror stand, I think it's under that. Yeah, the photographer used it. I wouldn't mind, I've got loads of them all over the place, but it'd be easier if I sent Maria for that one. So, who gave us that comment there? I think that was Lindsay. Lindsay. McIver. So thank you for that. Yeah. So, so this is our C effect that we're doing here. And all I am going to do is just run my knife round it. And when we get our rubber mat in, same. Now some of you guys could do this really nice and neat. We're not going to. This is meant to be the C, so. We're just gonna stretch our knife across. We're gonna do a nice rustic C effect. You see now I've really tagged on to that word, rustic. You'll be sick to death of it soon. So we're just gonna make this nice effect. Do you remember when you used to make Christmas cakes when you were at school? And you used to just pat it like that, didn't you? It's great. You used to do that royal icing if you went to cook a class at school and you used to just pat it like that and get that nice spiky bit. <laughs> That's, could do that, can't we? For the C. Right, okay. And then we're going to do a lighter blue up here, which I'll just stand up for. We'll just do a lighter blue up here. I was thinking of putting all this on before we came live, but then I thought, you know what, you're all just going to ask me. And I didn't want to tell you that I had a real cake under it, but I clearly didn't have a real cake. So uh, I wanted you to see that's what we're doing on a stereo phone. But it's no different to a real cake. If you're going to put a real cake on, okay, you just make sure that you do your buttercream separately to each layer, pop them in the fridge, so each layer would be on a card, okay? Drum, card, card. You put your buttercream on, pop them in the fridge, first coat, and then pop them in the fridge to set. And then you do your second coats when it's set. And then you come and put them on top of each other. Don't not forget to use your dowels so that they don't fall. Got it, Maria? No, oh, you've got that one, I mean, that's fine. Here we go. Super. We sell these as well. These are the oblong ones. They're brilliant. Well worth investing these Grippo mats there on the website as well. We haven't done the link for that because we didn't think about doing it. And I'm actually out of stock of the round ones. I need to get some more. And these are the ob oblong Grippo mats. And they are worth every penny. These are great for when you're in the car and you're taking a car, so you're taking your cake somewhere and you don't want it sliding around in the boot. Well, put one of those in the back of the boot with your cake box on top and it's going nowhere. I've carried all my cakes to all the cake shows on those and I've put cake boxes on top of each other with the Grippo mats on as well. So we're still doing our rustic theme. I have only got one dowel in here because it's stereo foam, one long wooden one. And 
it's a food safe one. Not is that, that is that is. matte on our website? Yes, it is. And it's if you go to baking accessories on our website, you'll see that they they come in assorted colours. And it's called an oblong grippo mat. I'm just gonna put that in there. So sorry guys, all of you might be a bit bored watching this bit, but this is the rustic undersea cover. And again, not quite the right way of doing things. Do, you, do we sell deep dummies like what you're using? Um, we've had dummies on our website for so long, we've never sold one. So, <laughs> so I don't know if we've got any deep ones left. I think I just keep nicking them from the warehouse and using them. So <laughs> But if anybody wants them, I can order them and <laughs> get them in. <laughs> Just message me and I'll put them on my next order and get them in for you. <laughs> but we've never actually sold a dummy off our website yet, I don't think. And I thought, you know what, we haven't sold one in the two years we've been going. And to be fair, I've never actually probably told you about them, that they've been there. So I just keep nicking them from the warehouse and reducing the stock whenever, whenever I've needed them. <laughs> John's probably thinking now, so that's where all the money's going. <laughs> Keep nicking the colour splash. If that uh, was our only worry. Well, nicking the colour splash. <laughs> oh, oh, if that was, was our only worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lindsay yeah. Pearson said it must be rough out at sea tonight. <laughs> hey, shut up, Lindsay. <laughs> it's called rustic, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, there's a hell of a storm going on. Yeah. I mean, you could do this really nice, but we're just, we're not doing it. We're just doing it like this, because it's it'll all pulled together. Not failed you all yet, we will all pull together. So let's do the stripes here. <coughs> it'll all pull together when I put everything else on it. say you know you professionals or you guys who are better than me and there's a lot of you out there better than me do it nice and neat do it you know you can actually do it with um, sugar paste as well let me find my cloth just one second so i'm gonna have this one and then i'm just going to use the cream color for up here and i need another spatula so let me just let me just use this a minute We'll just do the top one and then we'll start getting all the nozzles together as well. So, uh, Maria keeps cleaning the cloth for me because it gets all mucky. So this is going to be the top. This is two layers of sea, by the way. The deeper the ocean, the greener it is. And then we come up to a nice blue. And then we're out here on the sand. With the sea swishing in. Are you getting it yet? blue on my spatula that Maria's now filming. Thanks Maria. <laughs> but you're dead excited aren't you? You're wondering what I'm going to create tonight. But you are also good you know because uh, you're all really patient with me on a Monday and watching and uh, you all know that I sort of wing it, don't know what I'm going to do. What's the, what's the three colours that you've used? Right, so the three colours I've used on the bottom is Jade, which is this one. And look, it looks exactly like it. Look, I've used Jade. And it's the Colour Splash Gels, which are brilliant. Then I've used the Blue, but I've used it just slightly lighter, not as dark as that. that. And then the top one is just the Buttercream colour. So I'm not too bothered that we've got a bit of Blue in. 
It's rustic. Yeah. That's the odd bit of blue sky that we get here in the UK. We don't get it very much. <laughs> Cara said this is better than watching Cake Boss. Hey, <laughs> he slaps them together as well. Have you seen how he slaps them? He's making a lot more money than us. I watch him put cakes together and I sometimes wonder what you can eat. It's all Rice Krispies and wood. Then he takes it out in the air on the road, not covered up. So, uh, in, in fairness, he does make some amazing cakes, but if you watch him, he just throws them together. Maybe that's where I'm getting my skills from. <laughs> so this is my top of my cake. So is anybody shouting out any questions? Don't tell me you're all that engrossed, you know, you're so thrilled about seeing this. Donna said she can't find the beach hut mold on the site. She it's said she's, there. she said she's found the enchanted door. It's no, under the Katie. It's under the it's Katie. Under Katie it's under the Katie Sue he section. Didn't, he didn't put the sugar buttons. Katie Sue sugar buttons, did he? He definitely put all of it. Okay, at the top of the page, there's a search button. Yeah. So if you go right to the top of our website, there's a search button. Just type in beach hut. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to get some brown sugar out. Can you just me a teaspoon, John? Now I was meant to grind this up in the grinder, but as we're going to the rustic look, and we've got very brown sand, so we're just going to have to have it as it is. Just let me put some sand around here. So all this is is just it's some fancy sort of, I think it's some sort of fancy sugar, is it? Oh, coconut palm sugar there. I don't even know what I've got in this house. Coconut palm sugar organic. So I don't know why I've got that in the house. I must have bought it for something, thinking that was going to be clever doing something. I bought rice flour the other week and I had no idea why I bought that. I was convinced I needed it for something. So we're just going to put the sand on. Iris says, very therapeutic watching you buttercream. Is it? <laughs> Maybe that's code for she's falling asleep. <laughs> Thanks, Iris. <laughs> See, now lots of you may well be laughing, but afterwards you'll be there going, you know what, I can knock up that cake quite easily. John always laughs, and then afterwards he goes, oh, you know what, you did all right there, girl. I'm amazed you did it, but you did all right. So there we go, so that's the sand on there. So I'm just going to pop my beak houses on, on the top. So just pass the sat tray down there. So those, the dummies, can you wash them in hot soapy water to yeah. use again? Yeah, and I do. I use dummies for the cake shows. Sometimes I use real cake. Real cake's very good. It will, it will, re, I've got some real cake in on my shelf in the, um, in our office and they're two to three years old and um, all they do is just go really, really hard. But sometimes it's a waste using all those ingredients. So I use a dummy cake and um, I had all the dummy cakes that you've seen at the shows. I've had them for two years now. And then at Christmas, me and Maria had a clear out and we said, right, that's it. We're gonna start again with all our new cakes. So um, we just scraped it all off to be fair with the sugar cake, with the buttercream. I just got a spatula, just dug it and it all came off, started flipping off. And um, and then I just washed them all in hot water. So I'm just going to, don't know which camera you're on there, John Marie, you're right in front of everybody else, I think. No, she's not, she says. So we're just going to put a beach hut there. And we're just going to put, which camera are we on? These ones. Right, we're going to put one here. Now what I wanted to do is, I didn't want to use Tylos because I wanted to be able to mould my beach hut round a little bit. So it's just 
off there. So let me just see, it's just off there. Yeah. A few people are putting up different uh, ideas for use for, for sand, semolina powder. Yeah. I know, um, but I didn't have any semolina in and I only thought about it tonight. Popping candy. Yeah, didn't have any of that in either. So you remember I broke this beach Use before. our bronze sprinkles. Yes, that's clever. So you know that I broke this hut before, so I don't know if you can see it. I broke the hut before and um, you know, don't go into a meltdown if you break it. You know what, let's just stick it in there and let's push it together. And we'll get it to work. There's always a dodgy broken down hut, isn't there? You know, when you're going for that rustic look, there's always, when you go to these seaside towns, there's always one hut that's completely knackered that's never been decorated. So there we go, we've just stuck in together there. Yeah. So where's my cloth? Where's my cloth? Here it is. And then we're going to put a little pile of these. Um, so we're just going to put some mermaid tails on here. So I'm just going to put some mermaid tails on there. Put her in there. Different coloured mermaids. I'll just put them because they're all swimming away there. Yeah. And the one that I've got here that I've doubled up. I'm just going to, which camera are we on, John? So I'm just going to put a stick in there, right in the centre. No, you're not, sorry. Sorry, I'm just going to put a stick in that one. That's the one that I put two together. So I'm just going to stick that in there and stick it so that it's, so it's just out of there. In fact, I'm just going to pull that off, push that down and then we're just going to stick that on. Yep, so he's out there. So we'll do that one. There's my cloth. And then we're going to um, pop some of these. Let's just get some buttercream up on the top here. So I'm just going to stick some buttercream up at the top, just a blob up there. This is where you like to lick your fingers, but you're not allowed to in front of anybody. So uh, if you're professional, you're definitely not allowed. So, um, so we're just going to put the dream. People are saying it's coming together, it's looking good. Yeah, winging it on the day. Shocked as always. <laughs> Shocked as always. <laughs> so we're just going to stick our last there. We'll pop a couple of seashells in as well. Oops, a daisy. So let's just stick some sea seashells in. I'm going to get playing with those nifty nozzles. And uh, just do that. shells in. Um, what other stones have we got here? I'll put another stone up there. And then I've got another mermaid's tail somewhere. Where is it? Just going to throw these together, that's all. Not really thinking much about this, really. I don't see as we need to think too much about it. If you start thinking about things, you just end up getting really stressed and pulling it apart. You know, let's leave the professionals to do that. We're just playing. This is something you can do with the kids. You know, you've got your grandparents, you've got the kids coming around, they can make these. You know, you can just have a bit of fun with them, and that's what it's all about, really. You know, let the professionals have the stress of it looking perfect. We're just going to chuck it together. So we'll just put all the shells up there. I'm going to put a couple of shells here. Let's see. I'm going to 
I don't know which camera are we on. Mm. Which camera, John, are we on? The big one. Oh, sorry. John's still got his cold, so he has to disappear now and again to have a little cough outside. And then we are going to... Right, okay. So let's get some fishes in the bottom of the sea here. So let's get some of these guys on. Just broke his, his fin, but don't worry. So they tend to go in the same colours, don't they? You find that fish. Uh, them two. Them two can go that way. One second. Do you want to get me a piece of coral out? Look, um, who's, in fact, who's in charge of me coral? We're not saying anything. What? My, my coral is in the freezer. Oh. Yeah. I don't know whether they've got them upside down, these fish, or not. I'll put some of that stick that's swim together. So, like I say, not everything's perfect, but you know, like I say, this is for the hobby baker. You know, you want to do something with the grandkids or your own children. Your own children, then you can just have a play. The kids will make these. It's loads of fun for them. Let them have a good time, let them play. It's just like playing with uh, plasticine, and everybody loves playing with plasticine, apart from the fact that you're playing with sugar paste. Thank you very much. So, oh, it's cold, him, isn't it? Right, okay, so which camera are we on, John? So we're on this one, and I have to tell you, I've still no success. I'm a failure at doing this, so we'll have to get Dory in to do it. Come on. Pardon? Come on. So I'm still a failure at doing this. I've tried three different ways of getting this particular one out and I can't get it out. I've done it with um, corn flour, I've done it with Trex and I've now popped it in the freezer and I still can't get it out. So um, I have to give that one a mess. So that's one of, just one of the ones I'm not too keen on that one. But all the other moulds are doing really very well so I'm quite happy with those. So don't be put off because there's loads of good ones. So let's just push my fish back on. And uh, let's do some, let's do my seahorse, stick him up here. So does anybody like it so far? What do you think it's rubbish? She's got a baby, that one. Are we liking it? Yeah? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. lots yeah, of very yeah. positive comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sticking those there. Uh, Stick that seahorse there, I think. That's Daddy. I've not put his eye on. I forgot to put his eye on. Right, okay then. And then we are just going to have, let's see. So you can't, we've got no heads for these uh, mermaids, so all ours are swimming in the sea. Yeah, they're all going in under. So uh, I think that's it, that'll do there. And then I've got the screen on here. There's my cocktail stick. There it is. And I will. So, like I say, this is all about playing with you. Well, pl playing with yourself. That doesn't sound too good, does it? And um, that's about either enjoying yourself playing or getting the children involved and having a play on a Sunday afternoon. There's no work of art here. Everybody can do this. So let's just get my nifty nozzles ready. So we're just gonna clean round the board. Now you could slap some butter pit, buttercream round here if you wanted to, bring in the sea to the board if you wanted to. But I am going to add some corals. So last week I showed you, let me just move this out of the way. All right, let me just move that out of the way. So is that out of the way, John? Yeah, so last week I showed you a set of nozzles, 12 assorted nozzles, nifty nozzles, and in there you get some tulips, you get some flowers, and you get some strange ones. So I, I showed you that one to do that cake last week, and then there's some other ones that you can use for succulents, 
um, if you wanted to, or you could use them for what we're going to use them for. We're going to use them for our sea theme. So let me just have a little clean up here. Let's get rid of all this. And then when I get them together, can you just, uh, a minute, let's just wash my hands again. Put buttercream all over it. All right, can you get me another damp cloth? Sorry, I've got black hands for really touching everything. Right, so the nozzles I'm going to use are in this tray. I'm going to pull these together. So I thought we'd make some corals and things with them. And I've done some colours already. So we've done some sunflower, which is, uh, everything seems to be out my way at the moment. I've moved it all over there. So we'll do some sunflower, which is this colour, see, very much like, that's one of the things I like about the colour splash, look, very, very much the, the colour that we're using. So I'll leave that there so you can see that. We're going to use the lime green, very much like it. I love this colour splash range, it's not my range, okay, but I do, I do use it all the time. There's 25 grams in a, in a tub, in a little tube. You get this nice little tubey bit to squeeze in. You're supposed to keep it clean, ours is mucky. But uh, I've been having a bit of a nightmare. And I also, I'll tell you what, I was really pleased colouring the sugar paste with it. So look, coloured the sugar paste with it. Really easy, didn't need as much colour for that either. And uh, did I do the sunflower? Yes, I did, look. So even on the sugar paste, can you see that? Okay, John. So even the sugar paste, the sunflower, so you can see it there as a buttercream, as a sugar paste, exactly like what it is. And I tell you what coloured up really nicely, the red, I, I am not going to use it, I don't think, uh, the red sugar paste, but look at this, how lovely this coloured up, just using the Christmas red. So you know all the trouble we had with getting the white buttercream, um, red well look at what it does to the sugar paste no time at all that was you know don't get me wrong i did use a fair amount of um, uh, christmas red but i didn't use nowhere near like i do in the sugar paste uh, in the buttercream and the buttercream i tend to be end up using a whole tube and i certainly didn't in this so uh, what else did we use i used the blue so there's the blue color okay and uh, i've used the blue there slightly different shade but that's a lovely blue that's come from that so they are two variants of blue so they really have come up well they're really lovely and um, I've really got these on at a good price at £1.55 if you missed out on the sale um, people have them on sale from anything from £2.25 downwards and um, I had them on the sale a couple of weeks ago for £1.40 I've always kept them in the sale for one six. I've always kept them normal price for one sixty five, and I've reduced them now to one fifty five. So grab them while you can. Right. So what we're going to do is, we are going to use the blush and bloom nozzle. When I find it, it'll always be the last one. Yes, it is. So this is the blush and bloom. Are we there? Yeah, okay, so we're going to use this nozzle and we'll use these two colours. In fact, we'll use this coral colour actually. So we'll use this coral colour. And my buttercream is firm enough. I did ask John to keep the door shut. And um, and for once, I'm not actually on fire in here. But, um, but my buttercream has firmed up just a little bit too firm for my liking. So we might end up having a couple of pop bags, let's hope not. So I'm just going to pop all that in there. Your buttercream for your Russian piping tips needs to be a medium consistency, not firm. This is just a little bit too firm for my liking. It needs to be able to run out nice and smooth. Yeah, but not runny. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to put in the green in the middle. So there you go, green in the middle there, guys. This is the lime green. 
And I'm just going to squirt some in this bowl to make sure it's coming through. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So I've got that colour there. And I'm just going to clean my nozzle with my clean top, my clean cloth. So that's number one nozzle. So who's bought this set of 12? So uh, it's a great set. You get some tulips in there, like I say, and uh, you get these other nozzles in there. So we're going to do this one. We're just going to have this one in a nice pink colour. And again, I'd like this a bit softer if I could, but... Someone just asked about how far does the colour splash go? Is it as good as gel? Is it is a gel that you're using? It is it? a gel, yeah. The colour splash that I'm using here is the gels. There is dust and there's gels and both are really good. I tend to always use the gels if I'm really honest. I don't have any problems with them at all. So I'm just going to put this one in the grass nozzle that you get in that 12 set. So let's just squeeze that out, yeah. So it's just a bit too firm for my liking. It's firmed up a little bit. Might have to ask John and Maria to hold this in their hands in a moment. And just hold it in your hands for me. Oops, so I'm just going to get them to warm it up a moment. Um, what other nozzle are we going to use? We're going to use the, su um, the sunflower. And the sunflower, we are going to use this orange colour. What number of nozzles are you using? Ooh. It's 25. Yeah, it's number 25. Now, the blush and bloom I've taken off the website because I put them all in these sets of um, 12s. But then on Friday in the warehouse, I found a whole load of single ones. So if you want this one, message me and um, I can add it to your order. So place your order and I can add it to your order. But I will get it on the website tomorrow. So let me just put the yellow in there as well. So I uh, found another box of them. Um, these nozzles are put together as a set because um, a lot of people don't know how to use them. So I've just put orange and sunflower in there together. And I'm just giving it a bit of a twist. Yeah, because that's how I want it to do. I just want it to be mixed in a little bit. So these nozzles that I've put in this 12 set are for doing things like this. A lot of people don't buy these, they always keep buying the roses or the tulips and then they don't use these, but these as I say are going to be great for your corals and for your um, succulents, yeah? Uh, what else have we got here as a nozzle? Can you just hang on to that and warm that up for me? And then I'm going to use the firecracker which is a great one again, so I'm going to use the firecracker here and we've got a nice coral colour. So there's the coral colour. Can you see that? Which camera are we on here? So that's a nice coral colour. It's lovely. Really very nice. So we're going to use this one. In if the icing does firm up, can you just add a little bit of water to make it thinner? Absolutely. And I would advise you do, to be fair. See this? This is too stiff. So we may have some fun and games with our cake. So... Uh, it was lovely before. It was really lovely and soft. But uh, it's just a little bit too firm. But you know, when you're live, sorry, when you're live, you've just got to go with what you've got to go with. So as you guys who watch me every week, you know that I've just got to go with it. This is it, you know. Now I can do now. And I'm sat down today, so I'm actually not on fire. It's really funny. I went to Patchwork Cutters yesterday. I hadn't even done anything yesterday. And um, I was on fire in there. And poor uh, Marion and her husband kept coming over asking, do I want the heater off? Do I want the windows open? And the doctor tells me I'm not on the chain, so God knows what's going on with me. Um, talking to the Patchwork um, Cutters demo, I am actually there on the 25th of February. It's a great day. It's on the Wirral, okay? And um, you get coffee and biscuits in the morning. Um, you get elevenses, which is great. A really nice two-course meal. 
and all those ladies who are watching who were there yesterday can vouch for it and you're also going to get a full demo of me as well in the afternoon and then you get coffee and biscuits again and then you go home with a nice goodie bag off Marion and I. It's £68 for those people who want to go. You don't book on this website, you go on the Patchwork Cutters website. I know a few of you already have booked on and um, if you want the link, because I'm not sure if Maria put it on today, but if you want the link, I can pass you through to the link. So all you've got to do is private message me afterwards and I'll get the link for you. So I'll give you that one, Maria. And then let's see what else we've got here colour-wise. We've got some blue and we've got some white. So in this one here, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to make this my mixed corals. So I'm just going to put in what I squirted out of here before. I'm just going to mix it together, this one. I'm going to use up my lime. I'm just going to give it a bit of a twist. What are you panicking about, you two? No, Have got a little battery? No. Okay. It's really funny when you're in the kitchen here, and anybody who's been in the kitchen here will... Um, they sometimes we get distracted by John and Maria. You can see them doing eye contact with each other about something. And you think, crikey, has World War Three started on our page again? Because you know we always like a good riot, don't we? <laughs> no, no riots tonight. Everybody's oh, been very polite. As the system crashed, like it did. Who was watching last week when the decorator kindly unplugged us? That was a load of fun, wasn't it? There he was, decorating away and thought, oh, I'll just plug the radio in and unplug the internet. So uh, that caused us a load of problems and it took us about 20 minutes to realise what it was. We actually thought it was us. And we'd only been saying that morning uh, how well we'd had. We'd had a really good run with no internet problems. He was mortified, the decorator. He couldn't do now, but apologise afterwards. God bless him. So I've just got all my bags ready together. Okay, and I'm hoping this is all going to come out really well as my little idea. And I've just got one more nozzle to do. Which nozzle? The last one? Uh, I'm going to do the grass, uh, the big one, the big mama. It's the Wilton. This one's a Wilton one. So the nozzles that I've used here, this one's the fine grass. And this is number 73 large. So that's the fine grass. What else have we got there? So we've got the fine grass, we've got the firecracker, which is number 23, I think it is. Yeah, number 23. We've got the, sun, uh, the um, sunflower, which is number 24. Blush and bloom, which is 25, which is not on the website. And we've got grass, which if I remember right, is number 70. I did have a peep then, because I forgot. You so, mix your buttercream by hand? No. Anybody who mixes their buttercream by hand must be mental. I do mix the colours in by hand though, okay? It's very, very difficult to mix buttercream in, mix it because you've got to beat it for so long. But I do, Maria and I were mixing colours in before you came before. And then I'm going to use the Wilton 366 leaf. Yeah. And you're all going to realise what I do with this in a bit. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is, I am going to put the blue down one side and white down the other side. So let me just shove this in. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. It doesn't matter if the two colours entwine. Some white here. I'm just going to shove the white down there. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of blue in it. I don't know what it's going to look like. We're just playing. So I think Cat Riley asked me last week how to get the colours. Just shove it in. Give it a twist. You'd be amazed how it comes out. It's really effective. So we're just going to do this one. And then we're going to get our cake back and start using these nozzles. So let's move these out of the way. And then we'll go do what we've done. We might have a, who oh no, I was going to say we might have a quick session, but we Sarah, have... Sarah Campbell says she gets up every Tuesday and watches it when she should be getting ready for work. She's obviously <laughs> in Australia. Uh, do we ship to Australia? Yes, we do. Um, 
but you can't order via the website. It doesn't pick up um, the right shipping price. But if you message us, let us know what you want. We can work out a shipping price for you and then uh, let you know. So guys, if you're abroad and you do want to order something from us, okay, we don't actually have anything out of Europe on our website. So um, what you need to do is just email us, private message me, email me with a list of things you want, um, message me with what you want or ask for my email address and then I'll ask you to send it. What I will say is shipping abroad is very expensive. Now, some companies are happy to ship out of the cheapest shipping and take the chance that it'll get there. Unfortunately, we have done that. And you know, some things do genuinely go missing and some things genuinely don't go missing, but because it hasn't been signed for, people think they can help themselves. So unfortunately now we insist on a tracked shipping service, which means it's expensive and it's all based on weight as well. So the based on weight is to do with the courier, but our aim is to make sure you get it, not be crying 15 days later saying it hasn't come and we're equally as frustrated as well. So I'm gonna use the Bush and Bloom and this is just to make my corals with. Okay, so I'm not sure which camera you're in that we can see. We can do this side. We're on this side, right, that's great. Sorry, Maria. Okay, so let's get Maria over there. So all I'm gonna do is just put some corals in. Okay, and my buttercream is dry. I knew that would happen. Right, okay then. So your buttercream does need to be damp. So this is why we like this rustic look here, because I can put some more on. So when you are using the nifty nozzles or any, even your coffee, <coughs> really, I shouldn't tell you what to do with coffees, but if, um, and I'd rather you didn't use coffees, but if you, um, I'm gonna cover it. So we're just gonna pop some corals on here. So we're just gonna squeeze and pull in, squeeze, pull in. We'll just do some corals. What piping bags do you use? Um, I use small piping bags. I don't believe in using the big ones. So we're just gonna pop in a load of corals the same that are here. Yeah. And then we're gonna go around here I might add a few more in a minute, just to add to the effect. That's all it is. So, you know, you all get nice, vibrant corals in the sea, don't you? So we'll add these here. I hope it's sort of pulling together for you guys. So we'll do this lovely, nice pink uh, grassy one. So it's just, what can you see from the camera there? Am I in the right way, camera, yep, John? Yep, perfect. And you, Maria, can you see? So we're just going to do this really nice grassy one. I'm just going to squeeze it up. I'm going to try and make it really long. So what number is up. blushing bloom? Number 25, but it's not on the website. So you can see that I've done this really nice grassy one here. This is the main grass one, number 70. Now the ones that I'm using are in the set of 12. Sorry, Maria, have you got that? Doesn't that give a really nice effect? Well, I quite like that, do you? Okay. So then we're going to use the sunflower. And let's just pop a couple of sunflowers here. Oops, we need a bit of a... Uh... That's the underwater variety, yeah? Yeah, of course, the underwater variety. You can use these for your succulents as well. So I'm just adding a bit more wet buttercream here because the nozzles do have to have something to stick to yeah so I'm just going to put a bit there as well a sneaky one there and a sneaky one there yeah and then can you see what my idea is guys that I was pulling together never made one of these just thinking about it the other day thinking oh, you know what what could we use these nozzles for so this is the firecracker I love the firecracker this would make a great succulent look at that and it's always good if you add a couple of if you add a couple of colours to it as well. So are we all getting a good view there? Yeah, very good. So I hope you're liking it. Let's just throw in some grass there. Doesn't matter if that grass has fell off. I'll pull that one off. There we go. It's moving in the rough sea. It's moving in the rough sea, is that what it is? <laughs> so which one have we not used? No, we haven't used the fine grass, have we? So we've got the fine grass, and I'm just going to put the fine grass here. Oops. And I'm just going to squirt that up there. We should stick it in, but you know what? We're just going to pull it off. Oh, lost my mermaid's tail. 
Hang on a second, let's not panic. We've lost the mermaid's tail. We broke him off. Where's my cocktail sticks gone? I had a tub of cocktail sticks. No, there was a tub here, John. Where's it gone? It's right in front of you, Maria, there. Right. So I've just lost my mermaid tail. The pleasure of going live, guys. You know what to do. Just don't panic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to shove a cocktail stick right in there. There he goes. And then he's mended again. Look at that. How easy was that? Don't need to have a nightmare. <coughs> Don't cry. Pleasures of going live. You see all the mistakes. So I'm just going to do a bit more of this grassy stuff here. I'm just going to put it all on top of each other. Doesn't matter if it doesn't all last. This is like... Oh. What are you laughing at there, John? Noreen's going to say, when her husband's poached eggs don't turn out perfectly, she's going to tell him, tell him that they're rustic. <laughs> Not sure it works with poached eggs, to be fair, but worth a go. I like it, though. <laughs> so what do you think of our... Uh, our little... Uh, what Does it look like a Finding Nemo theme? Yeah. Does it look getting there? So let me just put a couple of these on here a minute. Because we want a couple of different ones in, don't we? And, uh, are you liking it, guys? What do you think? Yes, yeah. Lots of, lots of likes and loves. Because there's all this stuff down there. Who's ever been under the sea? You see all these really bright, weird plants, don't you? But we're making our own here now. So I don't know whether we need any more. Do we need any more? I think it's actually coming together though. Mm -hmm. Do you think we need any more? I don't think we need any more, do we? We'll just put a bit of pink on here. I'll just put a bit of pink on here. Yeah, just stick a bit of pink in there as well. And I, and I want them to flop like that. That's, I'm not just saying it. I want to pull them off so that they do flop like that. So that they're swaying. Right, let's get our big... Uh, John's going. She's talking over the show now. So, <laughs> so we've got this one. Are we on this camera, John? Um, yeah. Yeah. So we've got this one. This is the Wilton 366. So this isn't a nifty nozzle. It's on our website. And we're just going to do some nice big... I don't know what they are. Top of the ocean, some wavy things. There we go. Let's just put those in there. We can do these. They're actually four leaves, okay? But all we're going to do is we're just going to throw them in like that, just to give it a little bit more of an effect. Can you imagine playing with the kids? How they'd have a great time. You'd have a great time with this lot. So let's just. Can you see it, okay, John? Yep. Yeah. Just another question. Can you reuse the dummies? Can you reuse the dummies? Yeah. Of course you can, just scrape it all off. So I am here and I'm just gonna just put a little bit more of my, so the blue, the white's coming through now, so can you see the white? Yeah. These were meant to look like the waves really, but they don't <coughs> quite look like the waves, but you know what? You get a bit of white in the sea, don't you? So let me just turn that round there. Put a few together. So seriously, guys, tell me, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you think yep. it's pulling together nicely? Lots of very positive comments. All rustic, anybody can do this. You do not need to be a cake decorator. You've just seen yourself. Neither am I. I'm not a cake decorator either. Right, I think we have enough there. Yeah. What do we think? I'm actually quite shocked with that. <laughs> Maria and John will be like, all right, okay, she didn't do too bad, the girls. So that was just my little idea. What are you looking at, John? What's about to fall? It's just wobbling. Oh, it's wobbling. So Karen Naylor and Wendy, Wendy Ann Preston will be absolutely weeing themselves laughing because they knew on Saturday night that I was there having a complete nightmare thinking, oh, what I'm going to do. So never done one of these before. So I just want to say a really big thank you to Katie Sue Designs for letting me use their moulds. That was very, very generous of them. They're all on sale on our website. 
The nozzles that I've used for the corals, and there's UK decorators out there who are going to make a better job than me. So the nozzles that I've used for the corals are actually in a set, uh, a bundle set, and there's 12 of them for 21 99 You can buy the 10 set and the 5 set. If you want to make sure these nozzles are in, just private message me and I'll make sure that they're in for you. Okay, and as I say, this is our rustic sea theme, okay, cake. And I think any of you guys could put this together. In fact, I'd be amazed if you couldn't put it together. It's just so easy. So I'm just going to fiddle about a little bit more. Oh, and I was going to do a um, cupcake, actually. No, I can't, I can't think about that now. So I think that's it. And then should we just, I just might just put one or two here. And just a little bit more leafy stuff there. Just squeeze that through. I have as much colour and I love pink. So there you go. Right, anybody want to ask any questions? Are we on this camera? Anybody want to ask any questions? I've just used my normal buttercream recipe that I use for the Nifty Nozzles. It's on the website. So if you go to the website to shop, drop down the menu and you'll find Nifty Nozzles buttercream recipe. Okay, it's just a simple buttercream recipe. No, we're over here. It's pinned to the top. Maria's on it. It's been up to the top. So that's there. Uh, the Katie Sue link is there. The uh, Nifty Nozzles Russian piping tips are there. Uh, what else? The cornflower pouch, the colour splash, everything is there for the colour splash. Um, the piping bags are actually in the Nifty Nozzles section. The tools are in the baking accessories. Um, so you've got those. What else? The rejuvenator. I didn't actually paint anything tonight. Do you want me to quickly show you how to paint a shed or should we go? Do you all know how to use the dust to paint? We have to wait 30 seconds for responses. Do you want a little quick painting session, show you how to use the colour splash dust just quickly? John's going, no, can we go home? <laughs> so John, is there any positive responses, yes, negative? Well, you can't comments. tell me, you know. <laughs> he doesn't tell me anything. I have to watch this afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, like last week when I realised he'd only filmed one arm. So <laughs> So I hope you like my C effect. I hope Katie Sue like it as well. So I'm just gonna finish off. You know what, sometimes less is more. I really need to leave it alone. So do they wanna see how to quickly paint that shed up? It hasn't come through yet. Beach hut? Yes, please. Yes, right, please. Okay. So let's just move this out of the way for the moment. Okay, let's put this over here. And let's get our beach hut that we had before. And it was here, it's dead easy. Okay, so we've got our beach up, don't know which camera we're gonna go on, and we'll just trim it up with copper. So let me just so easy this. Now, really, what I should have done is I should have brought in a big brush, but I forgot to ask Maria to bring in a big brush. So because we have got we have got sugar paste on here. Uh, not sugar paste, corn flour on here. Okay, so all we've got to do here, so, so easy to paint. And any of you who think you're not artists or anything like that, so easy. Do you want to move that ball out of the way, Maria? You can look in. And uh, <coughs> while I do this, so all we're going to do is just put in, there you, are, you can use your little tool. So we just, we have these trays on the website, they're not oblong anymore, they're round. They're in the bacon accessories. So I'm gonna just use the colour copper, okay? And uh, you're gonna need a little bit. I've got far too much here already. Rejuvenator spirit, or you can use lemon juice. So this is, uh, so we're just gonna put a couple of drops of that in. Give it a little stir, make it into a nice paint. Now some people will actually do it in the lid, in the lid of their colour splash, okay? And uh, then when it dries, you can, uh, when it dries, you can scrape it back off and, uh, just put that in, scrape it back off and uh, pop it back into your pot to use. So all we're gonna do is do this, we're gonna use this nice copper color. It's lovely, this copper color, it's one of my favorites. Okay, and all we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a nice, I'll show you this way so that you can see. We're just going to do a nice rough coat. You don't need to be a proper painter and decorator. It's a good thing with these holiday sheds. 
What are they called? Are they called holiday sheds, holiday cabins? What are they? Beach huts. There you go, beach huts, that's it, well done. The good thing with these beach huts, you see some really fancy ones. It's amazing what people pay for these here in the UK. Pay a fortune for them. And, um, and I've got a nervous hand, I've got a bit too much there. Don't worry, it's rustic. So it's amazing what people pay for these, isn't it? Absolutely mad. I don't even know if you get electricity in them. So we're just gonna paint it on there. On there, out on the top. Just a quickly, round the window. So you can either go all the way round the window or fill the window in and use any colour you want. Sorry it's not really neat, but I haven't got a steady hand and to be fair, no one's ever gonna be looking that close. It's got to have the worn in look. It's just so easy, just tap in some of the detail. So you've got a little handle there, just go over that. There you go. And that's it, here I do. So, yeah, there you go, here I do. Rebecca's just asking about the website. If you look at the, the post once we're finished, you'll see all the links to all the products at the top of the page. Yeah, and then wash your brush and then you can use it again. And then this bit that's here, you haven't wasted it, just let it dry, let the um, rejuvenator or the um, lemon juice dry up, it'll dry up, and then you can just start scraping it together, it's still wet actually, just start scraping it and tap it back in your pot if you want to. That's just how quickly it is to use it, really. So I'm not gonna show you how to paint in the girls, I think I've done enough tonight. And um, so here's our cake again. Here's our cake again. Hope nobody's laughing. <laughs> Which camera are we on? <laughs> I hope nobody's laughing. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, so thank you for joining Carol, John and Maria in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen just doing a rustic underwater theme cake using the Katie Sue moulds and the Genuine Russian Pipe and Tips Nifty Nozzles. We're back on Thursday at 11am and what are we making on Thursday? Oh, we're making pavlova. Look at me, we're making pavlova. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making pavlova and to tell you what's happening next week next week is our birthday week we are one year old so next week i want you all there with the birthday flag singing happy birthday to us we have been doing this live now every single monday for a year and it has flown by so next monday and my son is going to be here because it's show tuesday on the tuesday and he's going to make a fabulous dessert using crepes 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 whatever Crepes. what are they called <laughs> we don't want to say crepes do we crepes crepes <laughs> pancakes to me us up in the north <laughs> so he's going to make um, a fabulous dessert using them so you've got that it's absolutely amazing me and maria can't wait and i am definitely having a slice of that it is yummy so that you'll actually see what it is because is it going up on the oh no we've got to do thursday's live first mm -hmm. so the new banner will go up for thursday's live tomorrow and then um, after thursday you'll see what he's making and he's also making a chocolate pudding with um, a melted chocolate inside what would you call them john I don't know some sort of chocolate pudding and when you cut into it all the chocolate comes oozing out of it apparently he says they're very easy let's wait and see but he's here he's a chef from london and he is definitely coming up next monday he's promised his mum he is not going to let me down no matter what his work commitments are he'll be here so for all of you thank you very much for joining me i will see you thursday morning 11 o'clock making pavlovas with our delicious flavored icing sugars any more questions quickly have it oh like and share Maria's like this, like that. <laughs> so don't forget, <coughs> like and share. We can only go further afield if you like us. So make sure you like this episode, okay? And make sure you share it with all your friends. If you've enjoyed watching it, it's a free tutorial. Nobody does two hour free tutorials like I do. And uh, please share it with your friends. Help us go across the pond. So that's a good night from me. Good night from John. John. Good night. Maria. Good night. Good night. See you Thursday.